on Netflix. As we mentioned, Anderson Silva will be 42 in April. Derek Brunson turned 33 in Chagan has ever seen. Silva in the center of the octagon wearing yellow. Derek Brunson is in white once again. Southpaw versus Southpaw here. Will be very interesting to see how Brunson approaches the early portions of this fight, given what his recent history has held. In his last fight at this point, he was already charging at Robert Whitaker. Well, one of the things about Anderson is that the problems that he's had in the past have been against guys that would not leave. When you go to the Patrick Cote fight, there was a lot of uneventful moments in that fight because Patrick Cote fought a very smart strategy. Tyler Slatis did the same thing. A lot of guys just stand in front of him and let Anderson lead. Anderson will let you make the mistake. And when you do, he's a master counter striker. But he's willing to be patient and get boosts. Yeah, and the crazy thing is, though, he's so good when he starts to faint and move his hips and start switching at you that you start to react to all the actions that he's doing so he can get his offense off. John Anik, Joe Rogan, Daniel Cormier on hand. UFC 208. Holm versus Duran to me. The inaugural UFC Women's Featherweight Championship follows this co-main event here. Anderson Silva, slight betting underdog tonight against Derek Brunson, to the surprise of some. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> but interesting, you know? Because when you see a guy when he's 40, oh, nice right hook counter. When you see a guy that's 41, you always wonder, like, when is he going to lose the ability to pull the trigger? Mm -hmm. Because that is something that you see in older fighters. It's just one day, they just can't oh. it. Doesn't look like it's today. <laughs> you see it, though. You see yeah. every time Derek starts to take the lead, Anderson is able to counter. Yes, you know, and, exactly. And they're not landing clean yet. But, I mean, if you're not careful, it doesn't take many. Because Derek is being impatient, and Anderson is being very patient. And when you're standing in front of him, you feel like you should do something because he's not doing anything. Yep. And even when he's throwing that kick, he's a bit tentative because Anderson has already got his respect. And now Anderson's leading. And that's the timing that we were talking about. He figures out your timing. Brunson on a single leg. But oh. you saw that, Joe. Derek had to switch. Derek mm -hmm. had to switch his, his uh, he had to drop his level because Anderson started to pressure him, John. Underhook for Brunson, starting to pound away here a little bit on Silva as we approach the midpoint of round one. Well, you're definitely seeing way more respect from Derek Brunson than he showed to Robert Whittaker or even Uriah Hall. Right. Mm -hmm. But Derek has that explosive ability like you saw in the Uriah Hall fight where it seems like not much is happening and then boom, fight's over. No denying Brunson as a plus athlete. Good instincts. See if he goes to the kicking game a little bit tonight against Silva. You just got to be very careful leading here. And for Anderson, this is what he wants. He's already established his respect. He's landed a couple of shots. Oh. Oh! This is where you got to be careful to watch Anderson. He starts to kind of move his hands, then he'll start to move his hips. And if you watch, you'll get caught. Nice right hand by Brunson. Double leg attempt. Yeah, Brunson, watch his Brunson tagged place. him with that left hand. Oh, tag him with the right. Nice knee to the body by Anderson. Anderson got caught with a couple of punches there in that clinch. Now Derek's starting to actually be a little more active with his hands. Now watch for Anderson's back heel to come off the ground. You see that back heel coming off the ground. He might very well throw a high kick. I think as Anderson's gotten older, he doesn't kick nearly as much as he used to back in his prime. And all the weapons is what made him so dangerous. Inside leg kick is there for Brunson. The takedown defense for Silva has held up on two Brunson attempts thus far. Under a minute now to go round, round one. There was a very nice leg kick by Brunson. You gotta go back to that very bizarre moment when Anderson landed that flying knee on Michael Bisping and thought the fight was over, walked away. With his hands up. Uh-oh. Not a great shot there by Brunson. See, there it is. You can't, you gotta be careful that body. That would hurt him a little bit. Oh, real yeah. kick. Right hand. Brunson with an uppercut. Oh, Brunson landed Brunson. some hard shots. Yep. He's right that tight. Oh, oh uppercut. Silva's chin is held up thus far. Final seconds here, Rob. Oh, he went for a flying knee yep. and fell. Wow. Good run for Derek Brunson. Very good run. When Very good inside round. Of himself, yeah. With those punches in the clinch. Those yep. are real hard shots. 
And kind of surprising that Anderson stood there and absorbed him like that. He was trying to collect the tie coach. So you see Anderson with that wheel kick blocked by Derek Brunson. You see him shaking his head there and lands a punch. And then look at Derek Brunson landing these shots. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. I mean, Anderson is trying to move with them. And there's that flying knee attempt completely missed. And we're landing some really good punches in there. But no. I thought he did a, I'm sorry, John. No, all good. Round two here. Three takedown attempts for Brunson in round one. At least two of them very much telegraphed. I thought Derek did a fantastic job of just staying within himself that first round. Fighting the urge to just go out and get into a firefight. Yeah, he's definitely showing Anderson a lot of respect. There's the shot. Sprawl. Very nicely done by Anderson. Nice sprawl by Anderson. Sprawl. Beautiful sprawl. Silva comes in tonight, tied for first all-time with 14 UFC finishes. In my eyes, Brunson looks very tentative. Yeah. He looks timid, the way he's throwing these shots, non-committal. And that could wind him in big trouble if Anderson gets his groove. It seems like he's watching, you know, he, he's, he's doing a good job. He's actually landing strikes, but uh, it's just, I think it's so, so different from Derek Brunson that we have been seeing in his last four, five, six fights. He had a different look in his eye when he made the walk tonight. Perhaps Robert Whitaker deserves some credit for that. Silva on the counter. 15 of Silva's 22 UFC fights have ended inside of 10 minutes. Three and a half here to go round two. But like Joe said, you know, Anderson will lull you into that slower type of fight. We talked about this earlier. As you get older, you got to make these young athletic guys fight the way you want them to fight. And Anderson's doing that right now. And he's just waiting for Derek to make a slip. To make a, oh, and Derek caught him with the left hand over the top, but Anderson rolled with it. Silva just out of range with that attack. You gotta wonder if Anderson likes throwing that left kick anymore because of that knee that he uh, kicked against Chris Weidman and broke his shin. Because he's throwing knees. Brunson complaining to the referee about an eye poke. The action continues. Takedown for Brunson, his first of the fight. Nice takedown by Brunson. And this is huge for Brunson. Look at this. Anderson nicely done. Right nice. back up to his feet. Anderson just did a little bit of a chest wrap just to create some momentum. Used the momentum to get back to his feet, but now Brunson is in a double underhook position. Anderson Nine, pummeled yes. under quickly. Nice pummel by Anderson Silva. Now he has to circle back to that underhook. Sixty-eight percent takedown deep for Silva coming in. His teammate Wally Alves said in advance of this one, the star is back. Silva certainly showing several signs of life tonight as we approach the two-minute mark in round two. Well, the pace of this fight has been excellent for him. I mean, this is really where he, the kind of pace that he fights at his best. Derek's doing a good job of keeping that underhook high, not allowing Anderson to circle his back off the fence. Elbow lands for Silva, the significant strike story. Thus far, Derek Brunson doubling up on Anderson Silva. Brunson lands the uppercut, not a ton behind it. Just over a minute now to go in the run. Derek actually gave him space to actually get off the fence. Now another double leg shot by Brunson. Way on the outside. But I think the shot is just to get back to the clinch. Long as he's in close, he feels safe. Looked like Brunson maybe asked his corner how much time was left in the round. Anderson's gonna have to pick it up though. Right now he's falling behind. Just based on activity. Silva's last three fights have all gone the distance. Able to touch Brunson there with the jab. That got Derek's attention. And that answers the question whether or not he wants to kick with that left leg. Clearly that right eye is still bothering Derek Brunson. Uh-oh, he's doing some capoeira on him. Punctuates it with a body kick. 
Again, Derek cannot just start watching there. When, he, when Anderson starts to do that, he's still got to fight his fight. He's still got to be his offense. Beautiful nice jab. jab. Yep. Nice quick jab by Silva. And you hope the judges aren't impressionable when it comes to the crowd noise, but every time Silva moves, this place goes nuts. Brunson after round two. You know, it, I think it's risky. You know, I, I feel like he's winning the fight, but Greg's like, man, if you just go and he's winning two rounds to zero, so I, I don't know if he's saying you need to be impressive uh, in winning. Yeah, I didn't like that advice at all. I, this is what I would tell him to do. Right. Nice wizard, but nice wizard by Anderson. Nice knee to the body there by Anderson as well. I, and there's a nice uppercut, or excuse me, a left hand. I think this is where Derek Brunson does his best work when he's in the clinch. I, I don't I don't think you should try to stay on the outside and strike with Anderson Silva at all. I think you should let Anderson lead. And there's a nice, what a beautiful sprawl by Anderson. When did Anderson learn to wrestle like this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he learned from fighting you. My goodness. Yeah, I was just going to say, he's stuffed seven of eight Brunson shots thus far. Four minutes now to decide this one. Yeah, he looks very strong in the clinch here as well. But Brunson's doing a good job. He's doing a good job of actually dictating and controlling this fight. You know, it may not be... You know, it may not be as 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 dominant as the performances he had against Uriah Hall and those guys, but he's doing a good job of managing and dictating the pace of this fight. He's got to be careful here, though. Every time they're on the outside, he needs to be careful. There's a beautiful jab by Anderson. Now, standing in the center of the octagon with more than three minutes to go is where it can get interesting in any Anderson Silva fight. Yeah. Silva increasingly in this part of his career has really picked his spots with his striking. He's on the wrong end of the significant strike equation here tonight. But at this point, John, does he have to do more? I mean, at, four, at, at, at 41 years old, you know, can you pick those spots now when you haven't won a fight for a few years? You gotta go. You know, you gotta go. You cannot allow Derek Rose to true. continue to put the pace. Well, in his mind, he won the Michael Bisping fight, though his hand was not raised. Yep. And oh, the Diaz beautiful, fight. beautiful kick to the body. And the Diaz fight. Yeah. But that fight, obviously, test positive for a banned substance, and so it was ruled a no contest, but he did win the decision. But as he pressures Derek, now he's getting Derek to actually open up and fight it. Yes. And again, this, this weird war inside the clinch where Anderson's letting Derek punch him. Derek seems to be starting to tire a little bit. Yeah, that came very slow. Silva pushing Anderson those toes. Hands down. Yeah. Left hand landed for Silva. Oh. Nice jab by Brunson. Silva doesn't seem to fear the power coming back his way from Brunson. He just looks very calm and relaxed in there. All those missed shots take a toll on him. Andy Hook style. Wheel kick to the leg. Did he get him in the cup? Didn't appear to. Well, we didn't say anything. Anderson being very respectful. You don't have to stop him. The ref doesn't stop you. Yeah, I would like to see the replay to see where that landed. Brunson goes back to the jab now under two minutes to go. Silva just missed on the counter, lands the left hand. Another level change from oh, Brunson. Nice, nice angle change by Derek Brunson to finish this takedown. Not much time to go, and this is big for Brunson if he can get some shots off here from the top. See a lot of fighters with about a minute and change to go in the round. Go to that takedown in a potentially close round. Two of 11 now is Brunson for the takedowns tonight. You don't know what the scorecards say, guys, but if you're Silva here fighting off your back, not a great look. No, you don't know the scorecards, but you got to have an idea that, that this fight hasn't gone according to plan. Right, Joe? Yeah, I would imagine. But it's been fairly uneventful. <laughs> Regardless of who you think might be winning, no one's winning big. Yeah. But this is a big moment for Brunson, but he's not doing anything with it. So the question is, with this new scoring, is this enough that he was able to secure the takedown but not do anything with it? Because he's not getting anything off while he's on top. And for Anderson, it's imperative with only 30 seconds to go yeah. that if he doesn't get back up to his feet, he at least threatens from the bottom. Brunson. To kind of mitigate this potential lead. 
Brunson staying busy enough here for Eve Levine. Silva lands the up elbow. Yeah, but oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. From the but bottom. it's not enough. You know, the only guy to ever win from the bottom with shots is Boss Rutten against Kevin Randleman. And it almost started a riot when the decision was announced. <laughs> I got a screaming phone call from Gene LaBelle after that. <laughs> <laughs> Having a good time. And there's the wheel kick that he attempted. I mean, you definitely think that Anderson still enjoys competing. And here it was great for Brunson. A lot of shots landed here for Brunson. And there's a nice left hand for Brunson. And Anderson moves with it. There's a nice jab by Anderson. And there's another one. Uppercuts on the There's inside by right weird, there. Weirdness <laughs> going on in the center of the octagon right now. The scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 29 28, and 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Anderson Espino!